So here we're looking to just complete the statement. It's based on the property of the equality. Here, the substitution property of AB equals 20. Uh, what does AB plus CD mean? So the 20 is replaced with AD. So this becomes 20. Then we just add the CD like normal. Next, symmetrical property. The symmetrical property is when you flip them. So here we may say that measurement of angle two is equal to the measurement of angle one. Then after that, we can now look at the addition property. So notice AB is equal to CD. Here they add EF. So therefore, CD will also have EF added to it. Next, the multiplication property. The five is being multiplied to AB. Therefore, the five also has to be multiplied to the CD part. Next is subtraction property. Here, you notice that you're minusing GH to LM. Therefore, XY is also going to be minus GH because you have to minus both sides. The distributive property, it is when the five is distributed to each term here. So five is going to be multiplied by the X and five is going to be multiplied to the eight. The transitive property, one is two, two is three, then you can just ignore the middle part. Angle measurement of one is congruent to equal to the measurement of angle three. Okay, make sure you just include the squiggly line there because we're talking about the, no, no, that's sorry. The angle measurement has no squiggly line. The reflexive property, it's identical. A measurement of angle one is equal to ABC. Therefore, the measurement of angle one is also equal to ABC. They're identical.